Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy One Gun here, and today we're gonna do a little character creation. Um, I'm gonna use Dad Studio, of course, that's my main source for making interesting characters. And what we're gonna make is we're gonna make this cool looking cybernetic holographic face having guy. You know, just take a real good look at his face here. Look at his face. Ain't that cool? It's like he got you can see this you can see like uh the robot inside but you can also see that face that hologram face you know so i figured these these will make some cool bad guys and you can actually like change the color of the glow and all the glow and stuff was done inside of uh inside of iclone um all the armor all the armor and parts and stuff that came out of das um this is actually a michael four figure i was going to use a uh i was going to use a genesis two figure but i decided this would be, I mean, this would be better because this character doesn't necessarily have to talk. He just have to like follow instructions. So, so this is what he looks like. I think this was a cool, uh, something real cool I could create and uh, and want and share with all y'all out there. So uh, let's get cranking on uh, creating this thing. Let's get out Dad Studio. And as you see, I have Michael Four already out and waiting there's nothing special you don't, don't have to worry about putting no morphs or nothing on them only thing i want you to do is if you have it grab the cyber m4 mech from dz fire and just slide it over here and add it to his figure it will conform to him you know just to prove it see that skeleton will conform to him and that's good control z the skeleton acts like a like clothing or whatever but it stays on the inside of the body and what I want to do next is go to Michael 4 then go into pose then go over to Dash materials for Michael 4 and I should be coming up on them very soon here we go oops oops pass it pass it Das Accio Das Michael 4 and then go to his materials simple res materials and you want to get this all mapless just want to just make them all mapless that's going to really help us out when we get ready to uh when we get ready to uh you know do our thing uh to go to the, the next step up and what you can do now is uh go back into uh figures and what you want to do is you want to go all the way down if you have this prop too or this or this prop uh, for Michael Four, go to Mustopheles, get Sedition Soldier, and you can use a Sedition Soldier. You can use the Rapier, Claymore, or whatever. You can use whatever you want to. Um, and just grab. Uh, now, don't grab the bodysuit. We don't need the bodysuit. We just want to grab the boots, the chest armor, and and when you put these on, make sure they're parented. So chest armor. So make sure the chest armor is. Make sure all the props are parented, you know, and and make sure you don't put no. See, I got two chest armors up here, and make sure you delete that. You don't want to have two props of the same kind on a figure because that drive drive up your poly count when you get ready to decimate it. So so just start taking props and just add, start adding it to his body. I mean that's basically you want to do. You want to do everything except for the. Uh, Except for the, uh, except for the uh, body suit. So we're taking care of all this right now. Uh, okay, let me get this on here. And yep, I think that's everything. Everything. Let's see. Blah blah, blah 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 blah. Yep, that looks like everything. Let's see, this, 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 this. Everything except for the helmet. I could put the helmet on. That helmet looks pretty cool. Mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the with the with the next uh, thing here. So let's go into the surfaces. We grab this tool here, which is the uh, surface selection tool, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click and. Chest armor. Okay, here we go. Michael Four. 
they want to select all of Michael 4. And what we want to do is we want to uh, just choose this color, this little light blue color. And you want the light blue color all over his body. Okay? Then you want to go down here to his ambient color, and we want to choose the same color again. We should make him twice as bright. Then we want to go to his opacity and cut his opacity down to about 31, 30. I mean, I put uh, 31, 32. It don't matter. As you can see, we know I already made the character already. And it was very, very easy. Now what you want to do now is you want to go into your scene and you want to hide your boots. And then after you hide your boots, you want to go here and start hiding. Oops, click this, your selection tool. And you want to start hiding the feet, foot, toes. Anything that won't be seen, just hide it because you're going to say you want to reduce the poly count the best way you can uh, let's see cyber in four hip abdomen right thigh right shin right foot here you go all right so I'm gonna have that and then I'm gonna go in here and right shin right foot and hide those t oops oops foot okay so all that's hidden and I don't have to worry about that no more now we're going to hide Michael 4 and we're going to uh, hide all the armor and now we're going to go here and do something like this we're going to take these little pistons and we're going to hide them because they 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 don't look very attractive when you're animating them because when he starts to move in iClone, those pistons don't move. I've tried everything. They don't animate well. And uh, I've tried it, you know. And I don't want to turn. I mean, if I turn to a non-standard character, I could probably, you know, get away with it. But it's, I don't, I, I just want to work. In, I don't want to go that route. You know, it's, you know. So I'm just saying that this is the best way I can see I can use this character inside of iClone. And the character I did create from what I did were pretty cool, you know. Kind of, I kind of liked it. Let's see. All right. Okay, so let's. Uh, yeah, get rid of these two. Get rid of these pistons. Any, any pistons you see on this thing, just get rid of them because they won't they won't show well. There we go. Get rid of this piston. After. Piston. We'll give it to these pistons. The one ones around his neck. Cause for real, these most of these pistons you won't even they won't be be seen anyway. So the only thing we worried about is the robot. All right. Let's get all these pistons off of it. it. Ain't those many pistons, but it's enough to just make you go ugh. I wish they were anime. I mean, it's just a thing of like having your stuff look good versus having your stuff look raggedy. And if you can't, if if you have a prop and stuff is just like not moving right, people are gonna say, "Oh man, that dude couldn't didn't take enough time to uh, even freaking animate that right." But I say this: instead of just going through the hassle and putting something in your scene and have it not look right, just improvise on it. You know. Okay, so. All the stuff that won't be seen. As a matter of fact, I can. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so let me go ahead and click, click on the Cyber M4, and I know I have some mm, materials for them. Let's see. Let's see. It's in this DZ Fire. Uh, let's see. Major, DZ Fire, Cyber. Okay, yeah, here's some, uh, here's some nice looking uh, mats I could put on them. I could put that on them. That looks cool. I could put. The, that's the default. That's the server. This is the police one. Oh, that looks awesome. Yeah, I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, that looks awesome. Look at the spine in the back. Yeah, it kind of matches his suit too. The only thing that matches his suit is his eyes, but you know. 
Oh, but the but if I cut him back, if I cut Michael Four back on, bam. There you go. And I can actually go over here to uh let's see, AR Wraith. I know I for a fact I do have some textures for this edition soldier, I just don't remember where it is. Ranger no. Uh, is it? Nope. Is it? Ah, this is it. So, here are the textures for his boots. I'm going to go with this uh, black stealthy stuff. It looks kind of cool. So, black stealth for the boots, the chest armor. Where's chest armor? Chest is stealth. And. I got some other cool stuff that goes with them too, but uh, give me a minute. Just give me a second. Let's see. Upper body armor. What's that? Let's see. Uh, thigh. I got the thigh. Thigh armor. Right there. Shoulder. Or the shoulder. Oh, that's shoulder. Hip armor. Right hip. Right hip. Right hip. Forearm or the forearm? Ah, there it is. Forearm. So which one I haven't gotten yet? Uh, hip. Upper arm. Where's the upper arm at? Ah, here it is. Stealth. There we go. So so far, I mean, he's looking. He's coming pretty cool. Let me see what else I can add to him. So we have this, and I know I got some cooler stuff in here. Hmm. Let's try. Let's try putting that helmet back on him. I just I just figured something out here. Let me see if it'll work. You know, when you're doing characters, when you like making characters and stuff, you know, you're always going to be going back and forth in your run times and stuff, trying to figure out. But you know, that's that's uh, that looks pretty cooler. I like that that look for him. And uh, uh, HIJKLM Mistopheles. Here we go. Sedition Soldier. Let's see. Let me go over to Cole Rapier. No, go to Claymore. I take this helmet off of Claymore right here. Oh, that looks awesome. And then the same thing with same thing with this. You just go over here because I I have I definitely have the textures for uh they've had the expansion pack for for this guy for both of them from DZ Fire because they made some good stuff for this character AR Wraith um, Claymore is that what I'm looking for yeah so I can go over here to his helmet and oops it's on his head alright Claymore and click that now I'm gonna go into um, his surfaces Claymore helmet and I'm gonna go over here to his face visor, face shield, and with his face shield, I'm just going to uh, just change his diffuse color to this light blue color, and then turn his uh, ambient color into that light blue color, and no mess with the opacity. Turn the opacity down. And there you have it. Oh, that's that's freaking awesome. Let's see. Okay, so why? Oh, that's right. Diffuse strength is all the way up. And the ambient ain't all the way up. <laughs> That's what the problem was. But isn't that cool? Got like this real cool. And then I, I can take the capacity down even more. Just enough so we have a face shield. But yeah, he's got he's got that real cool uh thing going on with him. And uh, another thing I could do is I can go over to figures and go back to Mistopheles and probably put some more armor on him. I think I'm missing some armor. Let me see. I gotta be missing some armor. Uh, lollipop. Yeah, I'm missing something. I'm missing something off of him. Something supposed to go around his waist. Yeah, I am missing something. Hold up. Uh, Mercator, Mistopheles, Sedition Soldier. I think I'm missing this. Yeah, I knew I was missing something. I'm like, what am I missing? I'm missing something. So all we gotta do is just go back over here, 
to pose. Go back over here to DZ Fire. DZ, 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 DZ Fire, here you go, DZ Fire, oops, wrong one, um, no, it was DZ Hard, there, there we go, and, uh, Abdomen Armor, and just click on Stealth, there we go, now I'm gonna go back in Figures, and I'm gonna grab these Gauntlets, Mistopheles, Coalition, Rapier, what's the Claymore? Well, Claymore is just armor for the Rapier with a different helmet, that's all it is. And I'm going to just take these gloves right here, I'm going to put them on him. And, uh, huh, that makes a world of difference. Well, not really, but when I turn this all black, pose. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm so glad they changed this the way you have to do these figures now, Daz. Let's see. AR Wraith, Rapier, Claymore. Oh, this Rapier. Rapier. Let me get the gloves. Gloves, 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 gloves. Gauntlets. Look how gauntlets. There. And there you have it. Everything's matching. Everything looks cool. And, uh,. I'm gonna go back, and once we're getting into over into uh, over into uh, 3D exchange and everything, we're gonna to have to do a couple of more things. But uh, I think for most of all, this I think most everything is done over here. And uh, let's go ahead and right click, select all, and let's decimate this bad boy. Hold on, let me think. Is there anything I want to change? Uh, hold on, let me make sure I. I dot my eyes and cross my t's because once I do that I have to if I miss something or didn't hide anything or I think I got everything yeah everything's done so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, hit decimate and I'll I'll come back and start this back over when uh, it's finished okay so it's finished and the poly count in this thing is seven thousand nine hundred and no seven hundred and ninety nine thousand four hundred and thirty three um i'm going to just click and take this down to about 180 and see what happens wow oh i know what happened i didn't type in 180 180 oh 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 180,000 my bad But well, that's what happens if you take the polys down too low. I think I probably did damage. <laughs> Let me see. I think we good. Uh, I think we good. Yeah, I think we're good. We all right. I might. Well, I think I. I think I'll just take this up to. Let's take up two hundred thousand. I know that's pretty high for what I want to do. But let me see if that gets some of the kinks out of this. Out of the armor. Two hundred thousand. That better. Yeah, yeah, that's better. That's way better. All right. So, so now we have our character made. He looks good. He moves good. He's been decimated down, and uh, I think now is the time that I'm going to uh, go ahead over here and uh, go over into uh, file export. I'm gonna call this uh, uh, let's get rid of this word mech so one and just push save and. Everything, yeah, that everything's cool, you know. Anything bakes, that's cool. And just hit accept, and this will like go real fast. And I'm done. So when I come back, we're gonna be in uh, three exchange, all right. 
Okay, so now I have him in uh, 3D Exchange. And the way you get your character in 3D Exchange is that you open 3D Exchange and you hit this little folder button and you scroll down to the character you want in FBF format or OBJ or if you're pulling out BVH files or any type of file that you want to bring into um, 3D Exchange that 3D Exchange will accept. You just hit this little folder button and it will open up this menu and you just scroll down and get what you want out of it and open it and that's all so now we're over here and uh and uh, huh i should have colored that i should have got rid of that that's all right that's all right i'll find some way to fix that inside of my clone but uh i have the uh, folder the texture folder for this so i should be able to fix it so now I have the character imported in here and uh, now I want to uh, no, convert it to a non-standard character so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit uh, convert to non-standard and I'm going to load a t-pose on it a preset that I already made hold up hold up I can just go low pose t-pose and go over to desktop go over to my one gun folder and uh, where is it? M3. It's the M4, but I want this one, the mech one. Yeah, that's the one I want. Where is it? Hmm, let me load another T pose on here. I think I got the wrong T pose. Load T pose, and let me go back desktop. Let me go to my folder here. Ah, let me go down here. Wolf, White Trooper, Stella, Stella. Delph mech, yeah, that's the one I want. There we go. That's that's better. And uh, and what I do is I go over and get the Dash Genesis, uh, the Dash Genesis uh, uh, character characterization key, and I just get it on there. And what you have to do is you have to go back in here, uh, and you have to t redo the chest. And let's see, make sure I get the abdomen. I always make sure I get those two right and then I hit activate and then I will do a preview to see if you know just do a basic walk basic walk and tell, tell everything oh that's cool yeah that's alright with me yep that's okay but just to make sure let's go ahead and cut this off real quick and does he have let me see. What's this for? S5. No, no, that's not what I want. It's P3. What's this? Left collar. Hmm. I'm trying to see if this thing has a shoulder, has a node to it. If it does. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's see. Upper armor. So let me go here and let me click this. Let me see what happens. Let me see what happens when I Okay, preview. Nothing, not a dang thing. Okay, I was gonna leave that alone. I was gonna see if I can adjust this, but you know what? I think that's cool the way it is, just like that. I think it's cool just like that but I'm gonna go ahead and uh put this thing on nothing um how, how do I put this on nothing I just do that and come back to convert to non-standard and just do what I did before dash genesis move this Right here to there. Uh, click on the abdomen. Abdomen is right there. And gonna load a T pose. Not from here, but from here. And where is it? Stella Stealth Mac. There we go. And uh, just push activate. And uh, let's see, let's see how he looks when he walks. I'm gonna make sure his feet walk correctly. Let 
Maybe his stance need to be widened just a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Maybe turn his feet in some. So we have to unhook that and So I'm looking at the front of him right here. No, I'm just don't turn this. Put his feet in right inwards a little bit. Probably just screwed the whole character up, but let's let's see if that works. Yeah, I think that's cool. All right, so now we're ready to convert them. And I'm going to push OK. And I'm going to send this character. Hold on, let me, make, let me unclick my other characters out of iClone. And now I'm going to send this character into iClone. First, I'm going to send it to iClone into my Mech Soldier. And hold on, I know what to name. I know what to name him. Ugh. So they all be in one place. N O V A shift shift underscore A shift underscore I. That's cool. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push OK. Oh snap! I forgot. I already got some. I already got one named Nova AI. Hold on. Nova A. Uh, shift underscore two. There you go. That should work. Now, <clears throat> let that uh, export out, and it's done. And now I'm just okay. It's done. So now I'm going to uh, send this over here to apply to iClone. So let me click on iClone. There it is. It's 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 trying to it's trying to come up. There it is. So that's the character. This is what this one looked like. Uh, hold on, let me. This is what this one look. This is what this one looked like before I had you no know, did all the glowing stuff on him. But as you can see. As you can see, uh, you can tell there's a big difference between these two characters, and uh, oh, and uh, oh, I forgot to make. I want to make this guy a little bit bigger than him, but that's all right. I can always go back and make another one. You know, I just can't uh, do it in here. I wish I could have a thing where you can like enlarge your characters, but they don't. So, so here he is in all his. Uh, 3D ishness. So the way you, the way you do this in iClone is that you get your picker out and you click on to the character, whatever part you want to, and I always select uh, affect all channels, and then I go into the glows and I get this glow, and you just keep on doing that. You go here, you click on there. And one thing you must do is make sure this color, uh, I think it's this color, and this color are on. And that's what gives that nice, healthy blue. So blue that it's shining through his chest. Wow. Maybe we need to bring that strength down a little bit. Or did I accidentally? glowed his chest out <laughs> the wrong part of his body and you just uh, like get the picker here and just pick away and just throw that blue on and mess with that and and get the picker again well you actually you can just push the, the shortcut key push push B and just do that for all 
parts of, of his body. And uh, now, it's because I got this all affect all channels, every time I select a channel or I click one, it'll automatically go to that diffuse and ambient color. Uh, let's see. You know, one thing I didn't check before I export this out. Something I need to really check is to see, because sometimes uh, with the rapier armor, I had a problem with the this part of the armor of his cover his butt, and when he walked, he left the butt piece behind. So let's see if that happens. Nope, doesn't happen. All right, cool. So we good. Just had to make sure <laughs> because I was like, man, don't let me don't make me have to do this over again. So let me push uh, B, hit this, go into the gold channel. Get this color, bam, and B again. Hit this, bam, and let me get his hands. Push B, get his hands, glow, and one thing left is his neck. I can get his neck. Push B, get his neck, and bam. Too sure what the hell that is. What the hell is the? Well, I got the back of his head. I didn't get his neck. <laughs> silly, silly me. And push B. That's probably the glow for his face. I bet you it is. All right, and I got his neck. So now I have to do the tricky maneuver of getting the skin on his face, and I can do that up here by just finding. Skin on face. Oh, which is already done. Okay, I guess I did get it. So I'm going to B again. Click on here. Face shield. Hit this. And there you have it. There. There's that real cool looking uh, hologram S type of uh, monster robot. And now what we do is now we go in and this this, this uh, armor has a lot of glow spots in it so this Mars boots here we go boots so highlight the boots hit the glow channel and the boots should be glowing and let me change these I gotta change these up I gotta change this to this color and then change this to this color and push OK and uh, I mean I forgot to cut on self illumination as you can see how cool that is and I can see how cool he looks and everything with his nice glowing nice glowing self there so that's about it for this tutorial I know it's those kind of lengthy but you know this how I make my characters, you know, and especially when I'm making cool characters. Oh, one more thing I forgot. I forgot to do is wires. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, here we go. Let me get, find these wires inside the robot. Hit wires, 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 wires. Here we go. Wires. Oops. Wires. Here we go. Cyber so for wires. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that and click on this. And the wire should be going. Give him a couple of minutes for the wires to glow. And I have to change this right here to this blue. This really bright, pretty blue color. And push uh, right here. Push OK. So now the wires on the inside of him, all the wires inside of him are glowing too. Um, So that's how I made the other character, and it's like I think these are these are pretty cool. And these work, and these are gonna work towards what I'm. Uh, oh, I didn't know those bottom of the soles glow too. Oh, that's awesome. I know the back of his does. I know the back of his did. I have to go back through and throw the glows on him too. 
But uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all about for this tutorial. Uh, and uh, if you got any questions or anything else, uh, uh, just let me know. Just uh, uh, throw me out some, uh, you know, just throw me out an email or something like that, or just hit me up on uh, Facebook at uh, Icon Movie Makers Group on Facebook. And uh, I guess this concludes this uh, tutorial on character creation inside of Daz and bringing your character inside of 3D Exchange and then taking your character into uh, iClone and putting all the glows and enhancing the overall look of your character and to give it a real cool sci-fi feel you know almost like almost Tronish almost almost and uh, let me show you let me show you let me show you all something one more thing before I cut this off um, let me show you all this character Soon he loads. Soon he, oh, she loads. Now that wasn't right. I accidentally, like, <laughs> shoved him out the way and she took his place after all that work I did. So, with this technique, you can apply it to any character. It's real, it was real simple, real easy. You can do it to any. You can do Dad's uh, Generation 4 figures. You can do it to. Um, Gen uh, Genesis 2 figures you can do it to any figure that Daz makes you know it's just about playing around with the surfaces and textures and uh, you know putting the props in decimating it down so when you do bring this into uh, iClone you will see that the uh, you know you will see that the characters will come in right and look good and then you can go in and do other enhancements to it but I think this is overall uh, nice characters I made and you will see them in the future the girl right here in the middle I made her um, I made her for my special project and uh, compared to these two guys she's hollow she doesn't have nothing you can see right through her there's nothing inside of her nothing inside of her and she's got a I got a mask for it I got like a mask for it too like she has a mask that goes on top of her but We'll discuss another time, but like I said, you know, you can uh, make these characters real easily and have no problem with making them. And uh, I hope this tutorial helped you all out with uh, thinking about creating characters like these. Or And on top of that, well, I use blue on these characters, but you can use any color you want. You can use red, orange, pink, magenta, whatever color you want, you know. It all depends on you, on how, you, how creative you're going to uh, use this this uh technique I showed you all especially bringing these characters into uh into uh I clone and uh and uh I guess that's it for this tutorial so uh if anybody else like I say anybody else got some questions uh just uh give me a shout out on the real uh, not real illusion form whatever that uh I clone movie makers group on Facebook and uh, or you can hit me up on the YouTube channel and ask me questions there but uh, this is One Gun Sean, and I'm signing off.